in West Milford, New Jersey, driving to Clinton Road, the home of the longest red light in America. It's not just me saying that, it's not just locals saying that. The New York Times made that claim 20 years ago when they wrote an article about this place. And in 20 years, it has not been disputed or overthrown. This is the longest red light in America, maybe the world, and I'm going to learn everything there is to learn about it today. Okay, let's start with a zoomed out view of this light and what we're looking at. So here's Route 23. This is the northbound side, and this is the southbound side, and this is Clinton Road. The light is really in two parts. There's one part right here and one part right here. First, I'm going to approach it from this side, from Clinton Road, and sit at this light and see how long it takes. The longest red light in the world. I've already been sitting here for many minutes. you know what that wasn't so bad because this half of the light i did have to wait for two minutes and 45 seconds but on this half of the light i actually was able to catch the green and go right through so that wasn't so bad now i have to try it from the other side if i'm on route 23 southbound and i take this jug handle and i sit at this red light then i go through this large median how long will that take the light the Clinton Road light. Come on, light. Come on. You're getting close now. Right. I did it. I timed the light. I went through it from both directions, from Clinton Road and from the 23 side, just to see what it looked like. Timed it from both ways, and now I'm just sitting here observing the light from a distance. Okay, here's what I learned in my time observing. The longest you have to wait is five and a half minutes, which is exactly what the New York Times reported 20 years ago, although they're exaggerating a little bit because the cycle of this light is actually two minutes and 45 seconds on red during rush hour. So in order to wait the full five minutes, you would have to wait two full cycles. And that is possible if you're the only car sitting at the red light, you'd pull up, you'd trigger the light, and you wait your two minutes and 45 seconds, and it doesn't give you enough time as green to go through both halves, so you're stuck waiting again for another full cycle before you can go through the second half of the intersection. But the catch is, if there's a car waiting on the other side of the red light, if you're on the north side waiting here and you trigger this motion sensor, and there's another car on this side triggering this motion sensor, it extends the amount of green time to 12 seconds, which is enough time for both cars to make it all the way through the median and through. That's to reduce traffic because if there's a backup in the median here, it would get a little dicey because there's nowhere to go. And the cycle's long enough as it is. So during rush hour, if you're the only car there, you are stuck waiting two full cycles. But outside of rush hour, the problem is eliminated entirely because the cycle gets shorter to two minutes and 15 seconds and the green light gets longer and it's 18 seconds. So now it gives you less time to wait and more time to get through both halves of the intersection in the same green light. So you'll never have to wait two cycles. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the New York Times is right. It's still the longest light in America. And there are times you have to wait five and a half minutes at this light. But most of the time, even during rush hour, you won't have to wait the full five minutes. I went through the light about a dozen times from different angles and I waited the full five minutes twice. But that's still a lot of times where I was able to do it in much less time. Not to mention there are sneaky things you could do, like you could always go right on red, you could always cut through this little gas station if you wanted, and that's shorter than waiting five minutes for the light to trigger. Unfortunately, if you take this little jug handle here, there's nothing you can do but wait. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed that or were entertained by it or learned something. I had fun starting my day by sitting at the longest traffic light in America a bunch of times and timing it and looking weird parked on the side of the road. Um, all just to share some knowledge and learn a few things. As I drive home, I'm driving on Clinton Road, the road the light is on, and it made me think I should do a video about Clinton Road because it's pretty fascinating as a piece of New Jersey history and folklore. So more to come on that, but thanks for watching.